Hey, and welcome to Baking Butterly Love. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make candied citrus slices that you can use to decorate your cakes. And not only do they look really cool, they also taste delicious. These citrus slices turn out kind of like gummy candy, and honestly, I had a hard time not eating all of these before I was ready to decorate my cake. All right, so this is just a very general method for candying citrus, and so I'm going to be using a variety of different fruits. The first thing you need to do is slice your citrus. I find it easiest just to do this with a nice sharp knife. You want to slice them about a quarter inch thick. I know it might be tempting to slice them a little thinner, but if you go too thin, they're more likely to fall apart during the cooking process. And if there are any seeds, just go ahead and pop those out with the tip of your knife. If you're having trouble keeping your slices even, a little trick is to actually rotate the fruit as you're cutting it. That way you can keep the knife even the whole way around. So again, this method will work with any kind of citrus fruit. I'm going to be using some lemons, oranges, some satsuma mandarins, and some blood oranges. After everything is sliced, the next step is actually to boil the citrus slices. So this boiling is um, supposed to remove some of the bitterness in the rinds before you go ahead and candy them. And I'm not actually sure about the science on that, but when I saved the cooking water, it definitely had a bitter taste to it, so I think it's a good idea to do this step. You can cook all of different types of fruit together, but I did do my blood oranges in a separate pot because I didn't want them to discolor the rest of the fruit. I ended up simmering these for about 10 to 15 minutes and that seemed to be enough time. You just want the rinds to soften slightly, but you don't want to overcook the fruit or they'll start to fall apart. While your citrus slices are cooking in the water, you can go ahead and start to mix up your simple syrup. Now, I'm not going to give you an exact amount because it depends on the size and the shape of the pan that you're going to use. I'm using a wide, shallow pan so that I can do a bunch of slices at one time, but you can use any size pan that you have. You just have to um, have enough syrup that it's going to be deep enough to cover your slices. So some people make a simple syrup, which is just equal parts granulated sugar and water, but I'm actually gonna use two parts sugar to one part water and that's just gonna make the cooking process go a little bit faster because I won't have to boil off as much of the water. Um, so once you have your syrup all um, measured out, you can just go ahead and set that over some medium heat and stir until the sugar dissolves. After your simmered slices are tender, you can go ahead and drain off the water, then transfer your slices into the pan with the syrup. It's better to cook these in a single layer, so if you have a lot, you'll need to do these in batches. But basically, all you need to do is simmer the slices in the sugar syrup until they've become completely tender and absorbed in the sugar. So this could take any, anywhere from probably like 20 to 45 minutes, and it really just depends on how much syrup you have, what size your citrus slices are, what size your pan is, what kind of heat you're using. Um, so the best thing to do is just to use like a medium to low heat. You don't wanna boil it too hard uh, and then just keep an eye on them. You'll know that they're done cooking when they look nice and shiny and they sort of start to go transparent. At this point, you can transfer them to a wire rack to drain and cool. You can also reuse the syrup several times, but if it starts to reduce too much, you might wanna add a little bit more water. Let the citrus slices sit out and dry overnight so that they can dry out completely. Then they're ready to use. You can use them as they are, or you can also coat them in a bit of granulated sugar so that they don't stick together. And as you can imagine, there are so many different ways that you could use these to decorate a cake. I'm just gonna cut a few slices into quarters and then I'm making a sort of mosaic pattern on top of this cake. Mm -hmm. 
Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel for more cake decorating tips and tutorials.